Hey there, everyone. I think I'm saying the word everyone a little bit loosely. I don't think there's too many people have joined this yet. I just wanted to do a sort of random stream today. I just I, Last week I was streaming an adventure game for almost the whole week. A very bad one that drove me like freaking insane. And uh, tomorrow I'm probably going to stream a hopefully slightly better adventure game. I mean, I have played it actually. It's not that great, but it's, <laughs> it's much better than the one I played before, which is The Prince of the Coward. Um, and the new one is that I'll play tomorrow, hopefully, is, is the, one of the, the first Nancy Drew game in the, in the very long-running Nancy Drew series. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Uh, this is actually an Atari basic prompt. Looks very similar to a C64 basic prompt. I could type, like, 10 print. You can tell the key, the key clicking sounds like an Atari 8-bit machine. Print, hello, Matt. 20, go to 10. Oh, wait, I have another program in memory here. Whoops, I think I just overwrote that. Let's try that again. Uh, file, come on. Cold reset. All right, let's try that again. 10 print, hello, Matt. 20, go to 10. There we go. And we have, you know, the very fun of basic in all its glory, but this is Atari basic. So, um... Yeah, I'm just going to stream a couple of random things today. And uh, the first one is this game called Story Builder Word Master, which is so obscure that it, it was, it's not in Moby Games. I just added it um, the other day, so maybe it'll show up at some point. Looks just like a C64 prompt hitting the clear screen. Yeah, the, the, the keyboard clicking gives it away that it's an Atari, uh, which, which is the run stop key of this thing. Uh I'm just going to have to reboot it. Because <laughs> I don't remember which is the break key on this keyboard uh, emulation. Let's just reboot the damn thing. Alright, so I have this game, like I said, there's actually four four programs built in here. Um, it says here it's a it's for ages 9 and older. The manual says it's also super fun for adults, so we're going to find out if that's true. I have a feeling that it's going to be more fun just to make fun of it. The very first game is just actually an instruction in, in speech, but I'll, I'll do that anyway just for the heck of it, and then we actually get into actual games. So I have this running at enhanced speed, so it's going to load the tape super fast, hopefully. And it's done. And now let's run, and you'll see it's an Atari 8-bit right away, because this looks like almost the quintessential Atari 8-bit title. With these big fonts and the noises... And you'll see all the reverse video graphics tricks and stuff like that. This is introduction to the Story Builder series. Da, da, da. So this is the part is just to teach you. And there's a little bit of quiz, but they tell you what a noun is. And they make you ready to read it. Examples of nouns include clouds, robbers, kitchen, nation, shark, and meatballs. <laughs> then we have verbs. Examples, eat, hiccup, kissed, or lived, seem, is, was. Most people don't realize is is a verb. Adjective. Look, it gets better, don't worry. <laughs> Skinny, damp, hilarious. What just happened? Okay, that was interesting. The, that was a little bit weird. The sticky computer followed the hiccups. So which is an adjective? There's like the quiz here. So obviously it's sticky, but I'll just do it wrong just to see what happens. I press 2. Let's just try again. I'll press 3 this time. Oh, I, that wasn't the right... I went to pick the wrong, the wrong one. All right, so I got it right. This will all get it wrong on purpose. Pirate is silly, which is a verb. So it's actually is. So I'll pick silly. No. I'll pick pirate. No. I'll pick silly again. And so the answer is three, moron. If you couldn't figure out the three guesses, we'll just tell it to you. All these color, uh, different colors are showing here. Like, yeah, this reminds me of so many, like, Atari games I used to play back in the day, even though it's not a really good one. Yeah, see the sound effect from Star Wars. And these are also stock sound effects or something. I don't know where they get them from. So, which is a verb, copied. All right, I'm awesome. Come on. The furry magician arrested the machines. So, adjective is furry. I guess you could press zero to stop also. So maybe I'll press zero to stop because I'm not going to keep on doing this. There is the evil noodle. I'll do one more. It's making up senses here, I think. I'm going to exit out of this if there's another one. Just keep on changing the color. 
This reminds you of Gortech Gore -Tech and the microchips. Interesting. I press zero to stop. All right, so now let me load the next program on the tape because on this tape there's three programs on the first side. So I'm just the same tape is still in there. I'm going to load the next program now. Ready? Let's run. Fractured nursery rhymes. You gotta love that, right? I think it's pretty cool. This program uses grammar to. F this is basically Mad Libs. So too bad there's not more people in the in the in the chat. Here, Matt, you want to give some 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 nouns and verbs and stuff? <laughs> I'll let you do it, but try to keep it sort of clean. Or if it, and there's, there's somebody else there, too. Whoever the lurker is, you can also do Mad Libs if you want. Give me a noun. I'll, if, if you don't give me a noun, I'm going to use something else that you uh, you put in before. How about C64? <laughs> That's not really fair for an Atari stream. Give me an adjective. Uh, I don't know. Funny. Give me another noun. Uh, game. I'm not very. I'm not very fun here. Give me a verb. Past tense. Uh, screwed. And one more down. Plural this time. Horses. Follow one more adjective. Fuzzy. Funny Miss Muffet sat at a C64, eating her curds and horses. Along came a game and sat down beside her and screwed Miss Muffet away. All right, well, not the best Mad Libs ever, but uh, if you want to continue, yes, why not? Let's try this again. I hope it's not the same, uh, the same nursery rhyme. Give me a noun. Uh... Something good. Uh, I don't know. Egg. Give me an adjective. Rotten. Give me another noun. Singular. Uh, PS5. Give me a verb. Past tense. Scalped. One more noun. Plural this time. Uh vaccines finally one more adjective uh, amazing one two buckle my egg three four scalp the ps5 five six pick up vaccine seven eight lay them straight nine ten rotten amazing head oh man that's really bad right, i'll do one more um but again It'd be much better if there's actually people here and they're giving me some stuff, but it looks like I'm almost all on my own today. Give me a noun, singular. Uh, give me a noun, singular. I'm at a loss for anything, anything somewhat decent. Uh, or orangutan. <laughs> give me an adjective. Uh... Excited. Give another noun. Uh, redneck. <laughs> I won't write that. <laughs> um, give another noun. Uh, joystick. That can be a verb. Past tense. Okay, now you're giving me some there, Matt. Give me. I'll wait for you to give me a verb because right? your other two came in too late. Viceroy and unscrupulous are good. Be a verb, no verbs. <laughs> you're like you're. There we go. Twerked. All right. Twerked. One more down. I'll go for viceroy. One more adjective. Unscrupulous. Jack be unscrupulous. Jack be excited. Jack twerked over the joystick. Orangutan. That doesn't make any sense. All right, do you want to continue? Let's say no. I just love that. The Atari fonts is the best thing here. All right, let's do the last program on this side here. 
It's actually not very different than the last one. More fractured nursery rhymes! <laughs> Doesn't make sense, but it's grammatically sound. <laughs> Alright, so same thing. Give me a noun. O oh, ye lonely chat. I'll, you got you put some stuff in there. I'll I'll, come, I'll think of my own for this one, and then I'll t I'll take whatever you use for the next one. Uh, give me a noun. Underwear. Give me an adjective. Uh, secondhand. Give it a noun. Singular again. Um. Trying to think of something. I'm trying to say relatively clean here because I could think of a lot of nouns, but uh, processor. All right, processor. That sounds like a bad one, but okay. I'll give you a verb. Uh, defecated. And we're now plural this time. Uh. Egg dogs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Follow one more adjective. Indecent. Mary had a secondhand processor. Its underwear was indecent as snow. And everywhere that Mary defecated, her processor was sure to go. All right, one more. Oh my god. All right, give me a noun. Mailbox. Give me the adjective. Uh. This is like the worst game ever. This is really... <laughs> I mean, how can, I don't know how many kids even can play this. Like, it's ages up to... What does it say? Ages nine and up. I mean, like... Nobody's going to play this for more than five minutes. Give me an adjective. Uh, grainy. All right. You're a lot of fun at parties, Matt. Give me an adjective. Singular again. Uh... Curtain. Give me a verb, past tense. Do we use contemplated? I don't think we use contemplated. One more noun, plur plural this time. Um, elephants. One more adjective. Uh, Horny. Baba, Greeny Curtain, have you any elephants? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three bags full. One for my master, one for my dame, and one for the horny boy that contemplated in the mailbox. <laughs> yeah, I agree. This is pretty awkward. All right. Should I do one more? Or I, I mean, this, I think this is stupid, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. No. All right. Let me flip the tape over and get the one on the other side of the tape. Cassette. Load. All right, I got a new tape now. Yeah, the sound effects of the flashing text. I agree. That's that's basically it. That's that's the whole game here. <laughs> word master. I think it's showing every single possible three-letter word in the dictionary. So this is basically mastermind, but with words. So the unfortunate thing is, in order to make it possible to win. You can only use three-letter words. But the manual specifically says this game is fun for adults, so let me know if you think it's actually fun for adults or not. If you type in a three-letter word, the computer will tell you if you're right or wrong. If you're wrong, two numbers will appear by your guess. The first tells you how many letters in the word were correct in the right place. Bring me Joy-Con. <laughs> I like that, uh, that name, Bring Me Joy-Con. How's it going, Bring Me Joy-Con? The first tells you how many letters of the word were the correct or the right place. The second tells you how many letters are correct but in the wrong place. No, one more thing. No two, <clears throat> no two letters of the word are the same. You'll get ten chances to get to guess a word. I, mean, I don't have any Joy Cons over here. I'm, up, upstairs, I have some Joy Cons. You gotta love the sound effects. I've got it. Start guessing. So, uh, by the way, the, the instructions of this game are completely wrong. So, three letter word. I'm gonna guess dog. That's completely wrong. How about cat? 
so cat, one of my letters is right in the right place. The other one is are, are completely wrong. Uh, let's say if I say uh, bet. So maybe, the, maybe the T is still right. It's probably the T is right. Uh, lit. Oh, I guess the T was wrong. That's interesting. So it means it's like, how about like bag? Bab. <laughs> uh, hey, Jeremy, how's it going, man? The old stick drift. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, it, Jeremy, it's so funny you can tell right away it's Atari just from looking at it. It's like obviously an Atari game. Bad. Well, that can't be bad because the first word dog was not good, so it has to be something else. Bay. No, I got only three, four more guesses. Uh, what else could start with a B A? Um, bat. No, it can't be anything with the same. I picked bag already, Matt. Get with the program here. Uh, ba. No. Uh, bad. Bad. is correct i am freaking amazing and you guessed bad bad would have been a good guess except it, we know from the first guess there was no d in it now let's try that again let's say joy in honor of mr joy con no <laughs> uh how about matt in honor of matt uh, one one letter right how about mug Nope. How about bad again? Okay. Hopefully maybe that A is still right. Uh, CAD. Get in there. Ca ca cap. Mm, okay, so it's not... CA wasn't right. Uh, huh, that's weird. I gotta figure out how to translate this. Uh, this interpret these, 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 these hints here. So, B-A-N, one of them was right. Oh, so maybe it's pad. All right, Matt, you got it, too, at the same time. Good job, Matt. Oh, this, this is actually much more fun than the other game. <laughs> is the Italian part of the mob? I assume, who are you talking about? I missed that. But, you know, I'll do it one more time, and let's pick mob this time. Mob. Imagine if that was right right away. All right, so one of them is the right letter. Bat. Oh, this looks pretty good. Bad again. No. Uh, bet. Bit. <laughs> but. <laughs> but is correct. All right, one more time. One more time, then I'm going to do something else. I, I wasn't... It was, I did say bit. You're, yeah, sorry. I guess you're a little behind. All right. One more. Uh, let's do con for Mr. Joy-Con. Nope. How about uh, jar for, for Jeremy? <laughs> I should try to help you guys. All right, Stu. No, well, Stu's not a word. I get zero, zero anyway. Uh, damn. I can't do dab because there's no A. But I'll do dim. Dim gives something. Uh, dad. It can't be. It says the word won't have two. One of two letters that are the same in it. So it's not going to be dad. Uh, let's say bub. No. Pig. Hmm. Uh. Is it where it starts with G-I? Doug, he said. It can't be Doug, because Bub didn't have anything. There's no there's no U in it. I should have known that before. I guess Stu and Bub, they both have U's in it. Uh, G... Jin. But, okay, that's good. But it can't have an N, because there's Con and N in it. Uh... Get that's not that either. Yeah, it's, it's no, there's no T either. Um, hmm, maybe it's not the G. Maybe it's 
um, hip. Okay, lip. All right, lip is correct. I am the smartest man alive. Extreme Rec 2000, how you doing, man? Bed. <laughs> is that where you are right now? All right, I'll do one, one more. This is, a, this is the last one. This is actually more fun than I would imagine. All right, uh, let's try, let's try bed. Zero and one. Gat. Get my gat. Is gat even a word? It's like a gun, right? Like a Gatling gun? I don't know if that's actually a word. Uh, dim. No. Uh, hmm. That's interesting. Uh, what word ends with a B? Sob. Lob. Fob. Job. Cob. Uh, I just want one of those pie boy, de oh, mob, but we can't be mob. Knob? <laughs> Is knob a word? Nope. It's not, not the right answer anyway. Uh, it can't, it can't be mob because dim wasn't, we got dim on the second guess and didn't have any M's. Uh, what word am I missing here? It's probably more common word than knob. Uh, fob, go gob? Gob, maybe. I mean, that's... Uh, it's only more two more guesses. What else could it be? Gob, job, sob. I tried sob already. All right, let's try gob. Damn it. All right. Uh, there might be the first loss here. Uh, Bob, Dob, Pob. <laughs> Rob! Rob. That has to be Rob. Yes, Rob! And Extreme Rec 2000 said Rob at the same time, too. All right, cool. All right, that's, I think that's enough for this game, though. Actually, that's, that was a lot of fun. I, that was that was fun. I was Especially the more people that actually joined, it was more fun. Uh, play again or quit? What do you guys say? Or should we move on to something else? Bring me Joy-Con says, yay! I agree. One more or, or stop? Matt says next. All right. <laughs> you gotta love that. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. Let me play this. Let me load this other game here. This is River Rescue. Um, it's a completely different type of game. Let's see if I can get it to work. Attach. Detach. There we go. River Rescue. So this is like sort of River Raid, I think, but sideways. And see, I'm going to control it. Two players, one player. All right, here we go. So I'm this boat, and I can move up and down, and, it, and I can shoot. The problem is, like, you can, you can shoot, like, I can just keep going like this, and I can, like, not look for a while, and be like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, da, da. Like, for the most part, like, you know, at least in the beginning, like, I don't have to even pay attention. Oh, I, I, sh I didn't shoot early enough, but <laughs> this time I'll actually pay attention. All right, let's see if I can play better this game. Horizontal River Raid, yep. It's called River Rescue. That's It's completely different than River Raid. It's actually no similarities to River Raid at all. I mean, to be fair, I don't see any fuel or anything like that. And I hope it gets harder, because right now it's only, like, if you look, the river is only, like, on the top part of the screen. All right, bring me Joy-Con. Thanks a lot for joining. Enjoy your kid stuff. <laughs> Matt says, I don't even have to pay attention as I die. Well, I mean, like, look, there's not, I mean, like, theoretically, I can just keep on shooting. When, the, when there's, like, not an alligator, when it's a, uh, when it's like a, like an atoll or whatever you call those things, you can't shoot the whole thing fast enough. I don't have enough, like my shots don't go very fast. I guess if I see that that thing, I couldn't shoot at all. It just killed me. Yeah, at least I don't have to deal with fuel. But like, is there? Is this like if this game doesn't do anything different? If it's just like literally, I'm on this narrow river and doesn't really change up much, then that can get pretty boring. I mean, like there's a noise of like my motor, I guess. I mean, I almost feel like the text game I just played was more intelligent than this. I'm just 
slowing down, zooming up. Oh, oh. all right, that was crap. All right, so that was that was my fault. Same five rules, river raid. You can't shoot till your previous bullet disappears. Yeah, basically. That actually could shoot through if I shot it enough times. But you saw there's some things that I can't shoot at all. But, like, the problem with this is not the difficulty. The problem is that, like, it's too monotonous. I mean, like, I want to see more than one type of enemy. I see a bunch of alligators. But, like, what's my objective? Is there, like, a... Is there, like, a level ending or something? Like, I'm not really sure. Maybe I should look at the instructions. After I die, I'll look at the instructions. Oh, crap. Alright, well, that was... <laughs> that was at least something that was a little bit harder to, to avoid. I got too cocky. Great kid! Now don't get cocky! Alright, one second. I want to look at the instructions. I got the manual here. Guide, guide your boat upstream, avoiding or shooting obstacles. Dock alongside North Bank jetties to pick up explorers and South Bank jetties to drop them off. Pass through bonus piers for an extra boat. Oh, I didn't see any jetties on the, on the top. All right. Uh, let's try. Let's see if we can find that out. Because it sounds like it's more complex than I do. Also, occasionally a helicopter will fly above your ship and drop mines in the river ahead of you. You must shoot these mines to avoid being blown up. If you dock and let off nine passengers, you'll score an extra bonus. All right, let's 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 see what happens here. Masses were so spoiled by modern games and demand constant variety of gameplay. Yeah, it's, it was a lot simpler back then. All right, let's try this again. Come on, it's, uh, let's, let's restart that. It didn't count. Oh, I can't restart. Okay, restart. Okay, here we go. Older days, the point of most games was to absolutely master a very basic gameplay mechanic. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I mean, I was reading something, an article today by Mark Cerny in, in Game Informer, and it said that... Oh, come on, that was... that sucked. It basically said that um, the arcade games, I and mean, we think we all know this, were designed basically to kill you, to kill the player every three minutes. And uh, they said basically when they took games home... They, like, sort of almost forgot that they don't have to do that anymore. And all the original games that they ported to home computers were just, like, basically high-score attack games. And he, he made a comment, actually, he said, like, he can't believe it's, it took so long to get away from the concept of lives in the games. Is that the, is that the pier? I mean, that's the pier on top there. Like, the thing that I keep going between, I don't even realize it. That probably is. Let me see if I can hit that. Next to my... Here. All right, I got a guy. Now what? Okay. So I got a guy, and I mean, it's like a risk-reward thing of how long I can... Should I go straight to the bottom and let him off? Alright, so I let one dude off. Alright, let me try to pick up more than one guy. Now at least it's something... Now this there's an objective, it's a little more entertaining. Oops. <laughs> it's a little more gameplay depth, at least. Yeah, agreed. Because before I felt like I was just doing, like, going nowhere. There was no point of it. Now that I'm actually trying to pick something up. Where's that guy coming from? It's River Raid for your Atari 2600. I mean, River... What's it called again? River Rescue for your Atari 8-bit system. Now you're playing with Atari. What was the Atari... I don't remember where the Atari ads anymore. Oh, come on. That was cheap. And my two guys were killed. Uh, kind of like Choplifter. Come on, River Raid. That was a little bit cheap. Because I was going there, and I just... I guess I didn't drive too well. Is a hack of River Raid on Atari Twin Central called Bermuda? Is it similar to this? I mean, there's actually River Raid on Atari Twin Central too, so... What's the hack? It's sort of hard to get there. I guess I'm going pretty fast. Oh, man. <laughs> I just killed those two guys. We played Atari today. Mm, that's right. The, 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 Atari, the Atari 2600 commercial that I really remember is the one from, like, you know, after it was already, like, not popular anymore, where they, they cut the system price to $50. 
and they had like the, the, the commercial that was like, the fun is back. Well, that was oh, it was not fair. Come on, I couldn't get away from that. It was a commercial that was like, the fun is back. Oh, yes, sirree. It's a 2600 from Atari. Under 50 bucks? Now, isn't that nice? If you remember that, those commercials. I mean, obviously, there was all the one-off commercials for different games that I remember, too. But th that was the actual Atari commercial that I really remember. So, Extreme Rec 2000, what's the Bermuda game? Is it similar to this? Let's see if I can actually pick up a few people and, and not, like, die. Old Bill Cosby first over Texas Instruments. <laughs> it's awkward to watch. I don't remember that so much. I remember uh, William Shatter did the commercials for the for the Vic. Um, I can't really imagine Bill Cosby. Right, I want I want to try one time. To, try that again. I want to try one time to get all six people. Because if you get six people, there's a bonus. Hey, uh, the Texas Instruments is one of the best computers you can possibly buy. The Jell-O brand pudding pops are also really tasty and delicious. Hey, William Shatter, like, the Commodore VIC-20, the computer of the future. But yeah, I don't remember the Atari courses too well, unfortunately. That's surprisingly decent bull cosmic. I like how every time I do some, some decent impersonation, you're always surprised. I just I didn't even practice it either, you know? If imagine if I actually practiced the impression. Come on, I wanna get six guys. I, I, next I I don't think you have to be six in one shot, so I think I can Oh man, there's the helicopter! Oh man! <laughs> All right, next time I'm going to drop them off one at a time. The, hel the helicopter's very presence, like, threw me off. This time I'm going to drop, I'm going to pick them up and drop them off. It's too much, too much risk to have too, too many guys in my copter, in my, in my boat at one shot. And right, I got one. Fail, yeah, it was a big fail there. Oh, that was a little bit narrow window there. I just got one freaking guy so far. Yeah, the helicopter and spy hunter. That's pretty tough. This could use some good music, actually. Oh, that was so unfair. I shot him. Like, the bullet just, just barely missed him. Dude, I mean, I suck too much to play this game. That's called the uh, theme from Peter Gunn, I think, right? By Henry Mancini. Do, 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 do. do you ever play Action Fighter, Matt? I suck at this game. <laughs> Peter Gunn theme. You ever play Action Fighter? It was a Sega game in the arcade, and then they ported it to uh, Sega Master System, and also it's on DOS and on Mega. And I'm not sure about Commodore 64. All right, one more time. One more time. What do you think was more fun, this game or the uh, the, the, the letter guessing game, Matt? <laughs> this probably is more fun if you're actually playing it. Also, I'm not using the joystick stream stop for you. Is it working now?
You remember Action Fighter? Cool. Oh, come on. I was too busy reading the stream to, to pay attention to that. My guy freaking died. Cut for about 10 seconds. I don't have any, like, uh, indication here of, like, dropped frames or anything like that, so I'm not sure why that happened. It may have been on your end, but I don't know. Really, you have to pick them all up at one shot, otherwise there's almost no way to get rid of them. Like, I have to get better at, at not getting hit. I mean, theoretically. I, think, I don't think you could win this, you could do anything at this game if you have to drop off the guys every single boat, every single dock you pass. I got three now. All right, now it's on. Oh, no. <laughs> I almost spoke too soon there. Four. I can't look at the chat now. Oh, crap! Oh, what the hell? Oh, man, I blew up his bomb! All right! I'm still alive! Got five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I had to drop more. I got extra points, like the more I have like in my my car. I think that's five total. I I, I whipped out, I didn't want to go for the sixth. So let me try to pick one more up and drop more off. crash into the dock. Stu Paddock won't activate. Come on, I just want to get six guys. If you just get six in a row to get the bonus, I don't know. I should have read it more carefully. <laughs> How would happen here? All of a sudden, like, my amazing, like, piloting turned to garbage, and I came, like, hit, like landed into a dock. Oh, here we go. Alright. I'm gonna drop this guy off. I'm gonna drop this guy off. I beat the helicopter. I can actually land at a dock. Okay, do I, where's the bonus? The bonus is you gotta drive in between like some very narrow street or something. Maybe, it, maybe, maybe it's not coming. <laughs> How do you pause this? I think I just ended the game. Let's see what it says here. The more you have aboard, the higher score for each one. You count to nine at a time. Oh, you're right. If you dock a little off six or more explorers in one go. All right, let's try it one more time. Six explorers in one go. Here we go. We're going to do it. Maybe. We're going to try. All right, I didn't count. <laughs> Start again. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. This is a pretty decent game, actually. I thought it sucked at the beginning, but there's actually a fair bit of depth to it. And it's not easy. It's definitely a challenge. I'm using the keyboard. You also could use the joystick. Probably... Oh, no. Damn, I, can't, I can't talk and play at the same time. I'm going to start over more time here. I have a better, better, better chance if I start at the beginning. Um... Yeah, I mean, I think you're expected to use the joystick, but it's probably even harder with the joystick, honestly. The keyboard, I could have my hand on it the whole time. All right, that's one. You're, you're, you're determined I'm going to have to deal with the helicopter. That's two. Oh, no, I'm going to get hit, aren't I? Oh, wow, I was lucky. Three. Four. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, more numerous, these alligators. Five. Oh no. Six. 
I was gonna let him off. Come on. Come on. Oh no. No! Oh my gosh, that was so close. <sighs> Matt, one more time, what do you say? I think I should do one more time. I was so damn close. I just want to see the freaking bonus. <laughs> it's secret we were all hoping was going to happen. <coughs> I believe you. Jeremy says, I'm terrible at these kinds of games. Yeah, apparently I'm not so great at either. I mean, I. oh man. All right. Come on. Come on, River Rescue. Just one time. It's like really hard. I mean, I guess she's like save states or something and cheat. Honestly, it's really hard to get so many in one shot. And the boat can hold nine, so like I'm amazed. Who's the guy that actually can pick up nine? Maybe if I played this, like, well, if I, this is the only game I had, and I played it all day long, I'd probably be much better at it, to be fair. Start again. Tev LTD. Come on, you're not going to defeat me. I don't want the high score. I, I just want one shot at the bonus. Even if I die trying to execute the bonus, that's fine. We need to see that bonus. <laughs> yeah, I agree. We need to see that bonus. It's like I missed I, I picked up six guys and I still died I mean like that's like not fair These guys are like mocking me almost I feel like Four Now comes the helicopter right Sometimes those bullets, if they don't hit those guys, you're dead. Oh, man. Five. Oh, here's a helicopter. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! There's it just too much crap on the screen! <laughs> Activate full try-hard mode. I'm going to start over again because I'm assuming it must be easier in the beginning. Damn. Damn. Just freaking six guys. I need this now. I'm emotionally invested in this now. This stream will be like a 10 hour stream. It's like, when is he going to stop playing? I don't know. Record for the longest stream ever on YouTube. I wish I could, like, give this thing to you guys and, like, why don't you try it? Honestly. The problem is your, 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 your bullets are so damn thin. Like, you're lucky if it hits anything. Four. And if I talk or look at the stream, like, my chances go down by, like, my 50%. That's the, that's the other problem. Yes! <laughs> Alright, see if I can actually make the bonus now. There it is. Yes! Woo! <laughs> I don't care about the rest of it. 
Ah, that was worth it. <laughs> the heck with this thing. <laughs> oh, man. This is surprisingly more gameplay depth than we originally anticipated. It just goes to show you I can be good at games if I actually am focused and not reading the chat. All right, that's enough of that. Let's do something else. Steve, <laughs> Steve's life goals are now achieved. I don't know about life goals are achieved, but I think my stream goal for today has been achieved. All right, let's 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 switch. Do something now. For something completely different. I'm gonna turn off this emulator. I'm gonna switch to. Since we got some extra time, I'm gonna switch to something else. I just wanted to hear that death sound there. The game over. Game over. Player one. All right, let's uh, close this. Or at least minimize it. Let me close it actually. Uh, detach. I'll leave it open in the background, but I want to. I want to take off the. Uh, or reboot this thing. Detach. All right. Let me minimize this, and I'm going to switch my window to Mr. Dosbox. Uh, what is this? Why did my window get corrupted there? That was interesting. My video window got look a little bit corrupted, it looks like. <clears throat> Hold on. Alright, where was I? What the hell's going on here? Wow. All right, uh, image mount, sorry, image mount, a C temp, what's it called? Adventure addiction, addiction, is that what it's called? Okay, let's play the game here. We didn't play last time. Let's play, it's called Palad. Hey, thank you, Kayla. Appreciate that. My life goals have been achieved, apparently, so. So this game is this text adventure by the same guy that we played the last text adventure from that was that adventure where they took all your clothes. This one is called Palace. Palace Adventure. The Sheik of Avarice has taken the rich and wealthy heiress, Pedlope, very rich, prisoner, and is holding her captive in his palace. Your task is to enter the palace, explore it, find Pedlope... Why is it not Penelope? I mean, I thought it was a typo, but he wrote the same thing twice. And get her out. Make her search using one or two word commands. Penelope is depending upon you. Get Good luck. We're going to start. Ready? No. It doesn't matter. I played this game for like five seconds just to make sure it was working, and it's really weird. So, like, outside... Remember last time that game was weird, too? Outside of the palace complex, a sign and a gate. Look sign. Adventures in a palace are fun, and who can doubt it if we have? No doubt about it. I don't even know what that means. Open gate. You can now go north. Inventory. Uh, north. So, I'm using the DOS box SVN down so I can save the game. How do, how do I do that again? Alt F5 is save state. Okay, let's just test that out. North, and let's do Alt F9. Did it, did it work? I think it froze. I think I froze something. Oh, I crashed the game. I crashed Osmox. So that come on, piece of sh all right, hold on a second. You heard me yelling, so I checked out you checked out how I was streaming. Well I guess you found that I was streaming. Alright, hold on. I, cr I crashed it, the wonderful DOS box SVN down. Let's try that again. Did I hit the right button before? Alt F9 is load state. Load state one. There is no state one. Okay, hold on a second. Let's let's do that more time. Remove all image mount a C temp adventure addiction dash T floppy A palad. Okay, let's try that one more time. Uh, open let's save it. Alt was it Alt F five and Alt F nine. So Alt F five Okay, theoretically that's saved. Open gate. Look, all right, Alt F9. And it crashed it again. All right, this is this is this is this thing wrong with this with this uh 
with this DOS box. So I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually use save games like you suggested, Matt. I swear I jumped 50 feet in the air. <laughs> That's funny. Stu is a lot of the obnoxious tapers, except far less obnoxious. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, it's too bad that, like, I can't be just generally heard throughout the fields of YouTube. And, like, everyone who's watching whatever crap they're watching all of a sudden isn't like, what was that? Like, I should check out that stream. That stuff, that's interesting. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Uh, hold on a second. I'm, it's opening a Visual Studio on my computer now to debug DOSBox, which is not what I wanted. Unfortunately, I have to wait for it to finish loading here. So apparently the, the load state and save state, which worked before, is not working now. Ugh, break. Come on. No source available. Yeah, no kidding. Exit this damn thing. Come on. Piece of junk. Wow, it's not, it didn't even completely crash. Okay, close this. End process. And the Freaking Visual Studio. Stable release time, yeah. Stop debugging, yes. I'm just going to use the regular DOS box. <clears throat> but unfortunately, it means I'm not going to be able to save the game, I don't think. So we'll have to just deal with it. Let's go back to regular DOS box. Here's OBS. Let's put it in the picture. Okay, well, sorry, image mount, A, C, temp, adventure, addiction, .img, T, floppy, palette. I mean, it's amazing that this doesn't have, like, a... <clears throat> All right, open gate. You can now go north. Now look at this. You see a large marble statue. Look, statue. It's a statue of an elephant wearing sunglasses, so you fail to recognize that it's an elephant. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Alright, so now let's take the statue. Okay, sure, why not? Now let's go west. Livestock enclosure, you see large elephants. Look, elephants. A banner over one proclaims an elephant in hand is worth two in a stampede. What now? Get elephants. Okay! Inventory. A large marble statue and large elephants. I mean, this makes a lot of sense, right? So I'm carrying around now a large statue and large elephants. I must be like freaking like He-Man or something like that or Superman. I don't know. Who am I? <laughs> Use heat vision. That doesn't work. I... I... <laughs> yeah, get, get sunglasses. Let's, let's try that. Get sunglasses. Nope, it doesn't understand sunglasses. Uh, so, I tried going north, I think, from here. Steps up to the palace. The East Palace Guards at a closed entrance. Look, entrance. Posted, no one welcome. Look, guards. Now, I'm freaking like He-Man, right? So I should be able to take out the guards easily. Kill guards. Sorry, thou shalt not. Okay, so I'm like religious, I guess. So I'm not going to kill them. How about like, beat guards. No. Uh, hit guards. Throw elephant at guards. No, it doesn't know throw. So, like, I don't know. I mean, like, what? Talk guards. Kiss guards. East. Palace guards show up. Are able to recognize you and you are dead. Why am I dead? Like I'm, I'm, I, I can lift elephants, right? Is it my hands are too full with elephants and and uh, and st big giant statues? And therefore, like I can't defend myself. Is that the problem? Hey Jennifer, how's it going? Sneak. Yeah, I think I think you're too smart for this game. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, open gate north. I'm just going to ignore the statue and the whatever. Let's go west. Location of snake pit. You see snakes. Snakes strike out at you and you are dead. Alright, let's try that again. Uh, how did I save it last time, Matt? Didn't I use the SVN down? Open gate. I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know why it's not working now. 
Uh, let's go north. Okay, so I can't go west here, and I can't go east. Let's go east here. A large pool of water. Look, water. By the way, that's, you're, you're right. They recognize me. So you think get sunglasses should work. A small sign indicates for you to go if you're brave. All right, go water. <laughs> Hungry alligators may have a good meal. You, you were dead. It was the same bill, Matt. Open gate, north, east, north. Oh, the same thing. Palace guards, they recognize me. All right, let me try to get the sunglasses, like you said. Open gate, north, look statue, get glasses, get sun, get sun glasses. But you're probably right because you was dead, buddy. You're probably right because it says you fail to recognize that it's an elephant. So, like, Theoretically, if I had the sunglasses, that would be helpful, except I don't see any look elephants. <laughs> get elephants. <laughs> I bet you'll get elephants. You have large elephants. That's not all I have. Uh, open entrance. Oh, I can now go north. All right. North. You see a large ornate rug and a small book. Look, book. 50 yards to the outhouse by Willie Make It. That's sort of cute. Ha ha ha. Look, rug. There's a picture of a pool of water filled with alligators. Release elephants. Yeah, I, I, I tried that before. Like, move rug. Nothing changes happens. Pull rug. Get rug. Get look. Uh, let's go west. Oh, I'm not dead yet. Informal reception chamber. A closed basket, a wall mural. I'm sure I look at the mural. I open the basket, I'm going to die. Look, mural. It's a picture of a snake pit. It appears to the West Palace Courtyard. So there are some clues here of where the dangers are if you actually you can, you can get the clues before you die. Look, basket. It's made of straw. Open basket. Much Chrysler Imperial. Is that like a car? What? Look Imperial. It's hot pink and has racing stripes? Get Imperial. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm carrying L uh, buffering on my, on my side, but it's, I don't see any drop frames or anything like that. Wait a second. I didn't go north from here. A big banquet hall, a huge table and chairs. Look table. Car on the top, you see, eat, drink, and mess around. Look at chairs. Made in the USA. How about that? Let's try north. Oh, so this got really big all of a sudden. A long counter, a closed cupboard. Look, counter is typical. Look, cupboard is usual. Open cupboard. You see a saw. Look, saw. For you to cut chain. Okay. Get saw. Alright, west. A closed hamper or pad. Look, pad. Scroll the pad. Show me a home in the elephant's robe and I'll show you a messy home. Look, hamper. It's painted green, black, and brown. Open hamper. Ah, uniform. Look, uniform. I think we're getting somewhere. For you to wear. There's a lot of clues here. Get uniform. Wear uniform. Remember the last game? Didn't understand the word wear by the same guy. I was trying to wear my clothes. Didn't understand that. All right, so wear a guard's uniform. All right, that seems like that seems promising to me. Uh, let's go north. Upholstered dining set. Oh, we see a piece of parchment. Look, parchment. It says howdy duty was here. That's helpful. We can get the dining set. Ah, um, oh, I'm actually able to get something. Wow. Move set. Let's go east. Carter behind the throne room. Go north. A pinball machine, a closed umbrella, and a television monitor? It's one of those antiques that predates the computer era. 
book monitor. An image of a torture chamber? Look, umbrella. I'm not going to open the umbrella. I feel like that's that's going to kill me, right? Opening umbrella is bad luck. Play machine. No, use machine. East. Well, wow, this, this is a lot of progress for like to be, to be killed like in one second, which I'm sure is going to happen. No bedroom furniture, a locked safe, a closed dresser. Open furniture. Look safe. Marked very strong. Look dresser. It's made of oak. Open dresser. See a pair of socks. Look socks. There's a hole in one. Are they golf socks? Wear sauce. Okay. Wear rug. Eat elephants. Yeah. Let's go south. An elegant study library. Look tapestry. This picture of a maze below the palace. Uh oh. Get tapestry. Oh, f finally an inventory limit. Really? I can carry elephants, but like I can't carry tapestry? Alright, let me drop the book. Get tapestry. Oh, it was, a, it was covering a passage to the south. Look desk. Take tapestry backwards. Ha ha ha. Open desk. This piece of paper. Open paper. Secret entrance behind a cabinet. At least they're trying to like give me some clues here. Was it was there a cabinet I saw in one of the previous rooms? I'm pretty sure there was. Let's go north first. I was here already. Okay. Let's go south. Secret passage. Second bedroom. A very large water bed. A closed box. A mirror. Look bed. Is round. There was a cupboard somewhere. I don't remember where. Look box. And printed Y. <laughs> I know I'm going to die, right? Push mirror. Oh, hero room entrance. Do not enter. Oh, cool. Final open the box. Slave floors to the floor. Press the enter key. Oh, a key. Insert before pulling sconce. What the hell does that mean? Get key. Drop elephants. Get key. Open door. Can I go south if you dare? Damn it. Uh, all right. I have to. I have. I have to try to see if I can get the other that that SVN down to work. Because if I can get it to work, then I'll use it. If I can't get it to work, I'm not going to keep on playing this game without being able to save. Hold on a second. Let me just try this one more time. It seems to work this time. The 64-bit one was crashing. Scott's is a current name, is it? I don't know. Is it? Maybe. I uh, North. All right. This okay. The 64-bit one was crashing. The 32-bit one is not crashing. So let me use the 32-bit version. Kill this one here. Let's do that again. All right, we're gonna start from the beginning, but at least we're not gonna. You have to do that again. Uh, north. Open entrance. North. Move rug. Get rug. I don't think I need that. West. Open basket. 
Imperial, look mural. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna save a few times here. North, a table and chairs, look table, move table, move chairs. North, oh, here's the cupboard. I think I tried to open the cupboard because it was closed. I never tried to move the cupboard. Let's move cupboard. Uh, push cupboard. Close cupboard. Does it say close? Pull cupboard. Look cupboard. Go cupboard. Damn. Push counter. You think that would work, right? It said there was something behind a cupboard. Maybe it's a different cupboard. Open hamper. And get uniform. Wear uniform. Look pad. Okay, let's save. East, north. Set. Read parchment. Look parchment. How do you do you is here? Is that a clue? I don't know what that means. All right, let's try to open the umbrella this time so I'm not worried about dying. Open umbrella. <laughs> See, I knew it. Open the umbrella inside the palace brings you bad luck. If pet tiger comes upon you. Oh, wow, a pet tiger came upon me and I'm dead. Wow, that, that must have been, that's what a way to go. <laughs> Sorry. Let's uh, restore. Oh, I rolled the wrong button. Oh, shoot. Oh, damn it. Oh, come on. What happened? Oh, hold on a second. I, I made a mistake here. One second. One second. Uh, load state one. Active state two? What did I do here? Hold on a second. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Okay, there we go. Phew. I thought I lost it for a second. All right. Uh, let's go east. Uh, there's a safe. Looks safe. Maybe I can use the key on that safe, which I don't have yet. Open dresser. Get socks. Wear socks. South. Get tapestry. Okay. Open desk. Look paper. Here's my cabinet. Uh, so west. Okay. South. South. Open box. Get key. Uh, look bed. Look mirror. Okay. I'll open the door, but I'm not going to go south. It'll kill me. When I say look mirror, why does it say hmm? Oh, because it's like, it's, it's trying to make a sexual innuendo, I guess. Uh, Alright. Um, open safe. Unlock safe. Sorry, you're able to. Use key. Damn it. Maybe it's a combination safe. Very strong. Alright, I guess I can't... I still have a, carry a car around with me. That's pretty insane. Did I use the right part of that time? Save state, alt F5. Okay, good. Uh, look. Let's go west. South. Let's go south from here. Look throne. It's made of gold. Sit on throne. Oh, I'm actually on the throne. Look button. Push button. Something changes, but what? Huh. The, uh, the throne moved to, like, a labyrinth below the palace. Oh, God. Oh, no. Look, crate. Open crate. 
Discovered a supply of royal golf balls. You know, I got those socks with a hole in one, and I said, is it, am I supposed to be a golfer? Maybe it... <laughs> get balls. Uh, drop rug. Get balls. Scratch balls. Yeah. Uh, look crate. I have tons of golf balls now for some reason. Let's go south. Let's go west. Ah, here's a cabinet. A cabinet. Kilroy was here. Open cabinet. See three mice. Are they blind? Let me save the game in a different position. Saved. Look mice. See no evil, hear no evil, so I have all the fun. This probably is a joke. I'm going to drop the umbrella. I assume I don't need it. I drop the tapestry also. Let's see if I can get the mice. Okay, they'll probably just eat me. All right, move cabinet. Aha, an entrance exposed west. Oh, come on. The entrance is secret dungeon. Posted only uniform guards with ID card. All right, so I had a uniform, but I didn't have an ID card yet. So I have to restore... All right, so I can't I can't go there until I get an ID card. Let's go south. Look, plaque. Don't look now, so they might be gaining on you. Hope not. Back with the throne. I think I, I think I've done everything here. I don't think there's anything else to do. Yeah, I. I've exhausted this, this labyrinth. It wasn't very big. I have to come back here and have an ID card. Sit on throne. Push button. Alright. Let's save again. South. A large wall painting in a closed container. Hold on a second. Yeah, south. Look, painting. It's a painting of a hair room in the palace. And wow. Look, container. It's all round and relatively small. Open container. A toy snake sprang from the container. Look, snake. Can I use this to like trick somebody? Drop umbrella. Drop tapestry. Maybe I'm supposed to like have the container actually. Get snake. Put snake in container. You know, I'm gonna go back. I wanna. I wanna actually take the container. Drop tapestry. Drop. What else do I have? A car. It's crazy to have a Chrysler Imperial. Drop umbrella. Get container. Okay. Let's save again. Let's go south. A small book. I've got this one. 50 yards to Adas by Willie Make It. I wonder if I could go down to the, the guard area. No, they're still able to recognize me. Why are they able to recognize me? <clears throat> I'm wearing the uniform, right? Yeah, I don't think I keep saying that to the time. I'm wearing the socks. Imprinted bottom flight. Because they usually top, the golf balls say top flight on them. That's supposed to be a joke. Right, where have I not been? i got to find where I haven't been. Because I've been like sort of wandering around. I forgot, I forgot where I've been. Hold on. South. East. South. All right, steps up to the palace. This is the statue here. This is the warden that killed me. There's no reason to think it's not going to kill me some more. West from here is snakes that just kill me. I need to find sunglasses, I think. Oh, that's where the snakes were. Here's the elephants. Ooh, 
move elephants. <laughs> uh, this must be like a red herring. What are we a car for? I don't know. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? I saw you were on uh, Mark's stream before. You get to go decorate your tree right right before I join. So how, how's your tree decoration go? Is it all done? You must be playing uh, a couple of Atari games, and now I'm playing this text adventure, trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing wrong here. It wasn't Atari 2600. It was Atari 8-bit. Like, I played this game River Rescue, and... Uh, I was able to actually get to, get to a bonus bonus uh, area. <laughs> that was the fun part. Uh, what the hell do I do now? The tree is beautiful, awesome. I think I was here already. The raw throne room. The counter, the cupboard. Open hamper, pad. Show me a home in the elephant's room and I'll show you a messy home. So my dad used to say that song, like, Go oh, give me a home where the buffaloes roam and I'll show you a house filled with crap, basically. <laughs> uh, move tapestry or painting, just Jennifer says. I think I tried that, but the problem is I'm like sort of running around now. I gotta I gotta start at the beginning and like go to every room again and like try to get everything and move everything. And I can't and I have inventory limits also, so it makes it a little hard. I have a key. I have a key. I don't know what the key is for. The only thing we saw that was locked was the safe. Oh, I have a saw too. I'm gonna try let's try to saw the safe. Saw safe. You saw. Cut safe. Unlock. Save I tried. You're unable to. Look key. Oh, insert key. Insert before pulling sconce? You said you thought a sconce was occurring? Is Christmas time annoying to me? No, Christmas time is not annoying. I love Christmas time. Silver bells, silver bells, it's Christmas time in New Jersey. Ding a ling, hear them ring, soon it will be Christmas Day. Alright, what is a sconce? A sconce, I'm looking it up. Oh, it's a light. It's what kind of light? Some kind of light fixture or something. Uh, insert before pulling sconce? I don't understand that. Look saw. For you to cut chain. All right, we, we didn't see a chain yet. <laughs> She'll be Jersey Mafia Day. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I gotta, okay, let me go back. Let me, let me go back. Not here. Okay, let me start here. I'm going to try to walk around again. It's like a wall light version of a torch. Okay, that makes sense. Let me save the game. Now I'm going to walk around and start looking at stuff again. Look book. 50 Yards to Outhouse by Willie Make It. Get book. The container has like the snake in it. I mean, if, if this is like a smarter game, I could do things like throw container, like the, the snake pit or something, but they, they're not smart enough to figure that out. Okay, I wonder, I wonder, I'm just curious now. O open container. Drop container. Get snake. Okay, I thought maybe the snakes would let me live if I was in, a, if I was carrying a snake with me, but apparently that's not, that's not the way the snakes work. They just kill you regardless. Uh, Alright. So, 
Why do I need to do that? Alright, so north. We have an umbrella which kills you if you open it. A tapestry. Oh, they want you to move the tapestry, right? This is a castle. And we have many tapestries. But if you are Scottish Lord, then I am Mickey Mouse! Uh, get painting. Drop contain. Drop pad. Drop pad. Drop pad. Get painting. You're unable to get the painting. Yep, Last Crusade. <laughs> uh, move tapestry. Look tapestry. Picture of Maysville the Palace. Get tapestry. Okay. I got the tapestry, but it doesn't really do anything for me, I don't think. Uh, north, the Royal Throne. I need an ID card. Huh, that's interesting. I didn't even think about that. I'll drop tapestry. I mean, I didn't really think that was considered outdoors, but that's a good that's a good call. West, let's try that. South, south. I mean, the courtyard now. I'm outside the palace complex. All right, so I built open it here, right? Open umbrella. Huh, Jennifer, that was awesome. <laughs> great job. That was that was that was great. That's exactly what I needed. Look card. Get card. Drop umbrella. Get card. Can I wear the card? No, I can't, but I have the card. All right. Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer Carroll for the win. No kidding. Wow, that was great. I just legitimately did not think of that. Once you said it, it was like, that makes a lot of sense. All right, so now, can I go into the guards here? No, I still can't do that, but I should be able to go to the guards downstairs where it said I need the guard in the ID card. Let's go east. Wait, sorry, where is it? North. Sit on throne. Press button. Push button. South. West. North. West. West. Alright, I didn't get killed. Entrance to secret dungeon. Posted only uniform guards with ID card. Let's go west. I'm in a torture room. Look rack. Marked height increaser. Uh, I don't think I want to, like... <laughs> uh, go rack? <laughs> Touch rack. Um, okay, can I get the rack? Drop parchment. Get rack. I mean, I, and I'm sure I don't need the rack. It's like stupid that I let me pick up a rack. Oh, a key slot and a large wall sconce. All right, now we're talking here. Let's save the game. I can also go north, sa north and south from here. North, a cell with a giant rat. And this is a small cell with nothing of particular interest. Look. See, I tuned in... <laughs> thinking Atari. <laughs> I was playing Atari before! The first hour of that stream was Atari, Ryan. Please be well-groomed and fed. Huh. Get rat. Alright, screw that. Insert key. Pull sconce. You can now go west. Alright. Now can I get the rat? Get rat. <laughs> okay. Uh, west. Oh, it's Penelope, the girl I was trying to get. And I have the chain. Uh, there's a the chain. Hold on. Cut chain. Penelope is now free. Can I get her? Get Penelope. <laughs> a drop rat. Well, we, we drop uh, the rack. Drop rack. Get Pen... Why is it a Penelope? Oh, that, that worked too. I'm carrying Penelope. Talk to Penelope. Kiss Penelope. Alright, east. I gotta get out of here. East, 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 south, east, sit on throne, press a push button, 
south. I still have Penelope. South, south. <clears throat> Wait a second. Uh, east, south, south, south. Congratulations! I've won! Great going! Thanks to Jennifer Caro, who actually found the ID card in the umbrella, because otherwise I probably wouldn't have solved that one. <laughs> All right, that was good. That was fun. Um, for okay, I think I'm I'm pretty much done for today. But for Ryan, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you the, the this game River Rescue for one second, just so you just so you didn't miss completely out. And this was supposed to be an Atari stream. We'll put this back on for a second. But aside from that, I'm basically done for today. Let's exit out of here. Let's go back into Altira. Hold on, I'll put it on here. There's that. Take off the Stu's Reviews picture. Wait, that's the wrong one. Uh, here we go. You're welcome, Ryan. Uh, let's see, put the cartridge in. Attach secondary cartridge. Uh, where'd it go? River Rescue. Here we go. We'll have some very quick River Rescue fun for Ryan's sake. This is Atari 8-bit for you, not Atari 2600. It's a very complex game we figured out. We thought it was very simple in the beginning. But you have to stop at these docks and pick up people here. And you have to pick up six guys in a row without dying if you want to get a bonus. And it's easier said than done. It looks like River Raid on its side. It does indeed. But it's not quite River Raid. And actually pick up six guys at, without dying. And actually drop them off too without dying. It's extremely difficult. <laughs> but I'll try it again for you. Since you're a loyal viewer of this channel. Tomorrow I'm going to stream the first Nancy Drew adventure. Alright, let's try that again. Tomorrow I'm going to stream the first Nancy Drew adventure game. I have to do this without talking, I think. Otherwise I'm not going to be able to pull it off. But tomorrow I plan to stream another adventure for people who like that. Not a little tech text adventure, but the Nancy Drew game. The first one is not the first one is not the best game ever made, but it's pretty good, and they start to get really, really, really good as they go along. And I want to start with the first one because just this just uh to be a completionist. They actually remade the first one. There, there's a remake of it too. Um, and I'll, I'll probably play the not the remake version. But I'll play the remake at some point too. But yeah, they get pretty good. Oh, come on. Let's see if I can do this. That's two. Come on, come on. Matt, are you still there, by the way? Matt is my witness that I actually beat this before. Sue is hard doing text adventures. Hard to talk. It's hard to read and play arcade games. You can't talk. It's hard to talk, too. If you really want to concentrate, you guys can shut your mouth and just play. All right, four... Come on. There's a helicopter that comes soon to like drops bombs and stuff on your head. Just when you thought you were safe. Five. You can't shoot some of these things either. Six. Gotta land this guy now. Great. Whoa! Oh my god! I crashed into the dock! That is not fair! Ugh. Matt, you missed me beat the text adventure thanks to Jennifer's amazing uh, suggestion to open the umbrella outside. Alright, I'll try that one more time. Ryan, can you believe that? I crashed into the freaking dock! Ah! Alright, one more time. This is a much better game than I thought it would be. <laughs> Head nerves of steel, but then... Yeah, because I, I started talking, that's why. I got, like, I got cocky. I was like, okay, this is it, I got it, I made it. I beat all those helicopter bombs, and I... At the end, and then I crashed. This is a pretty good game. 
But you probably, I mean, like, that's just to get, like, six guys in a row is, is, is a challenge. I'm sure you can make yourself a much greater challenge here. Lightning strikes twice. Let's see if I can do it twice. The first four docks seem, like, easier to get to than the other ones. That's why I restarted the game if I lose, because I feel like it's even harder after that. Goddamn helicopter. Ah! <laughs> One more. Yeah, I know, the helicopter bombs, I seem to manage to avoid them, but everything else freaking kills me. Damn alligators. I guess it's only fair to bookend the stream. It's supposed to be an Atari stream to finish off with this Atari game again. Just want to do it one time again. Come on. Come on. So you get six guys. Just six guys. Three. It's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of our rival. Whew, whoa. <laughs> I shouldn't say your talk or anything like that. I'm just like barely squeaking by here. Now I'm gonna get hit by it since Matt said that. <sighs> Matt, you jinxed me! You jinxed me. All right, one more time. <laughs> oh, okay, that, I was I was reading the chat that time. It didn't count. This Tev Limited. I'm so so sorry. <laughs> you should be. The first time I played this game, I had no idea what it was going on. Like, I, I d totally missed the part about picking up the people. I only read the instructions on this stream. I'm glad I actually had the instructions. If I didn't have the instructions, I would have never had any clue that you're supposed to pick people up on these on these things here. And we would have thought the game was just a piece of complete garbage. So that's why it's good to have instructions and not just, just play stuff randomly. Like I see people do in other streams. Like our good friend Mike Matei, for example, who's a good guy, but he doesn't read instructions. I self-edit. <laughs> That's a family stream. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Uh, come on. It's too bad you can't post a picture of your tree in the chat, by the way. Five. Go with the fucking helicopter. What? What? How'd that happen? How did that happen? No, I was, I was, that, I saw that. I need, to, I need to put some chapstick on my lip. It's like split or something. Ah, oh, damn it. Mike has missed out on some really good games that I play them. Yeah, I was watching a Sega Master System stream that he did, and he started playing Zillion for like a second. And, like, he didn't even get to the point where he, there's an elevator to go underground. All he did is shoot the guys that are coming at him. And then he's like, this is all this game is. This sucks. And he turned it off. And I was like, that's one of the best games on the Sega Master System. For sure, I need to stream that one day. That's an awesome game. Rocking Cats. I don't remember him streaming that, but I'm sure... Like, that's the thing. He just doesn't read instructions. I mean, there's no patience. Sometimes it's really funny, though, because, like... It makes his streams funny because he does like really dumb things because he didn't read the instructions. So it's entertaining, but it's not, he's definitely not getting the most value out of the game. Oh, I almost got hit again the same way I did last time. It's like threading the needle here. No helicopter. Oh god, I spoke too soon. Why did I say no helicopter? 
Why did I say that? I just have to let those guys off. I am determined to do this one more time for Ryan's sake. Just one more time. This actually is... This is... This is I, I still say this is a good game. I mean, I, I promise I can shoot those bombs also, Matt, but, like, it's like... Trying to shoot two of them at a time is, like, too scary. When, you, when your gun is so pathetic. That's, I mean, I can just try to aim and shoot right through them. Maybe I should do that this time. I, I feel like it's more productive, like, more reliable to go around them than just try to shoot them. Ignore the helicopter. Focus on the weird pieces. What do you say? I can't read that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not right now while I'm trying to play. The bonus sequence. Oh, you suck, Matt. It's not underwhelming. There's great, like, color scheme and stuff. Oh, come on. And it's not the point, anyway. The point is the mastery of the game required to actually get there. It's not the point how good it is or bad it is. See, I tried to shoot them that time, and that was a mistake because I just missed it by, like, an inch. So, okay, shooting them is a bad idea. The best thing is just to go around it. The heli oh the hell yeah the helicopter dropping those bombs exactly that's what you're talking about I'll ignore the helicopter and focus on those weird six pieces yeah that's that's the helicopter that's doing it come on come on come on come on come on you can do it maybe yeah, before I the problem is before the mines were in a place where I was able to avoid them. He puts it in a really narrow part of the river that it's much more difficult to avoid. Really depends where they are. Where are these guys like coming from? These guys running up to the like it's like am I like supposed to be like the, the Staten Island Ferry or something like that? Or am I picking up people in Vietnam or because they always have to show like they're not waiting at the dock for you. They sort of show up only if you get there. It'd be cooler if they're waiting at the dock and then they were like, chased after you, like, come back, asshole! Oh, I, there's no way I, I couldn't get up there. Damn it. I wasted a dock. That was just bad luck. That was just bad luck. You ready to rescue William Defoe before he gets shot up? <laughs> From where? Wait, hold on. I want to start the game over. Come on. Think they're just on vacation, you're picking them up? <laughs> Maybe. Does it say the manual? If I die again, I'm going to check what it says in the manual. Maybe it actually says why, why these people are there. It, probably, it says it's called River Rescue, so theoretically you're rescuing them from something, not just from vacation. Maybe like from their wives on vacation. It's like they're, they're at Disney World, like, please get me out of here! Please, I can't take any more of this! You're picking them up and taking them to the bar. That's possible, I can see that. The bullets are so... If the bullets were a little bit thicker, this game would be much easier. It's, it's like, a, so hard to hit anything. Your bullets are, like, tiny. There we go, this helicopter. See, now it's much easier to avoid them, because they weren't all on top of each other. Oh, God. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, man, I can't believe I missed that. All right, just drop these fuckers off. Excuse me. <laughs> come on, come on. Don't hit the thing this time. Yay! Platoon. <sighs> Let's see if I can actually hit the bonus this time. <laughs> I don't care anymore after that. <laughs> that's As far as I'm concerned, that's the entire game. It's just a game over... You win. I don't care about anything else. <laughs> Alright, guys. I think that's enough for tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Hope that was enjoyable, Ryan. Hope that was worth you joining to see the, the, the action for a little bit. I do, do I do plan to play more action games. Just, you know, it's, it's really random stuff. I'm trying to get some stuff to work. I play lots of different types of stuff. So tomorrow, Nancy Drew. And I hope you guys are back. Thanks, Matt, Ryan. Thanks, um, Jennifer. Thanks, uh, Extreme Rec 2000. Thanks everyone else who was here. I can't remember anymore. A lot of people were here. 
But uh, we'll, we'll do this again soon. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. You're watching this after the fact. And have a great night, everybody. Have a good weekend. Laters all.